So uh, I, I got a drum kit here, it's probably the smallest <laughs> smallest electronic drum kit, uh, but I need one that would fit in my tiny little uh, office. Uh, my wife got me this drum kit for Christmas, which was a massive blessing. Um, I hadn't drummed for years and it was so wonderful. Drumming is great for you, it's really, uh, it's really good for you. Um, uh, people even use drumming for therapy these days. Uh, but uh, I started drumming and because of my condition, hypermobility, Ehlers Danlos Syndrome, I, I ended up with tendonitis in both arms, uh, which means I can't drum, uh, which is gutting, getting that hobby back and then losing it. And I've also found lately my pain levels are so bad in the evenings, I can't do my other hobbies, which is uh, 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 photography, video editing of family videos, um, and DJing, and I'm in too much pain to do those things in the evening. So I've been losing my hobbies and um, that makes me sad. And something I've been learning over the years is that with these things, it's okay to be sad and it's okay to grieve. And it's actually healthy to count your losses and to actually be like, I've lost this and that's not nice and that's sad. And that's not how the world was made to be at the beginning and that isn't right. And and we're supposed to grieve these things, and it's okay to to count the losses. It's not a, it's not a, it's not right to be like, oh well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't bother me. Uh, it's better to actually count them, feel sad about it, tell your loved ones how it bothers you, tell God how it bothers you, and know that He mourns with us as well.